Yes, the circus can hear you. And today I'll be talking about um, a new other group called Octoprism. Octoprism. So these consist of two octolings, which is very interesting because I know, like, from the backstory for like Pearl's design, she was supposed to be an octoling, but they changed her instead of being an octoling. They changed her from to being a inkling instead. So maybe like this time they would put Octoprism to be the Octoling since there have been like two Inklings, one and one Inkling and one Octoling and maybe the next one will be like two Octolings. So you can see the physical description, they're very colorful. I like it, they're very very colorful. I'm not sure if they will like fit the atmosphere maybe because usually the idols fit like the time period of each Splatoon era, so maybe they won't, or maybe they'll just change them, but I doubt they will change them since they're already, like, made, and they already have songs out too, so species, octos, octolings, female, tell our fates al align, let your colors shine. I'm guessing that's their catchphrase when it comes to it. Octoprism is a fan-made duo based on a game Splatoon these owls were created and voiced by Catalina Koib, the host new news and announces Splatfist in the courtyards. Bio and Rena are both octolings. Fan-made? Fan-made. Hmm, wait. Wait, they're actually fan-made? Oh. So then they might not actually be real. But they have like a whole... Well, they do have music. I saw they have music, so let's just continue. The parents, B.O. is a 19-year-old 5-0 octoling based on Dumbo octolings. Her hair is black, which is this girl right here. She is, has black hair and or not orange teeth, bright blue tips. Her hair is black with turquoise tinted tips and rings. She has two prominent tentacles framing her face with four smaller nubs above the nap of her hair. Her forehead is covered with bangs split only by two not not notches, a pink headband, and a place behind two suction cups. Separating from many otterlings are two fin uh, appendages or either side. Her head coming from the Dumbo octopus ancestors. Her skin is light cream color, cheeks covered in pink and blue glitter that hints a dusting of freckles. She has a wide eye with pink tinted round eyelashes. Her irises has the same bright and pink striking horizontal turquoise pupils. Her top row of teeth has the brick lying center fang and the two fangs at the bottom row during a splat fest and the turquoise in her hair becomes the color of her side and her default ink is turquoise. Reyna. Reyna. Reyna is 23 years old. She is 5'7". Oh, she is very tall for her octoling. I feel like she's taller than anyone else in like probably in Splatoon like for kids and like the idols in the game. They're like very older. Octolings based on a rare rainbow blanket octopus. Her hair is pastel combination of pink, purple, and blue, and lime green. A long veil hangs behind her, two wavy tentacles flowing down her past her ears alike to bowls fins. Reina has two longer tentacles with two suction cups. Each in, in deactivated her rare ancestors. She has a similar bangs to Boa. To Bo. Her skin is medium brown with purple undertones, a green and blue star painted on her right cheeks. She has a heavily hooded eyes with dark maroon eyelids. Her irises are deep blue with flower shaped four um, corner pink pupils. Her top row of teeth has two fangs with the break um, left center fang on the bottom row. During the spot fest, her hair becomes various shades of colors of her side. Her default ink color is purple. And the music. So, Octopa News, and these are the music, and they're on they're on YouTube. So I'm not I'm not buying it that it's like 
that it's like fan made. I mean, it could possibly, it's like a, usually fans can go way into depth, but I heard some people talking about them, so I'm guessing they're somewhat real. But if you guys know more about this, key guys tell them in the comments because I only heard one person talk about this, like ranking idols. I'll put their link down in the description because they rank like all the idols and they just came up and I was like who are they? I never even heard them before but apparently they were like oh yeah she's like the best idol or they're like oh yeah I want them in the game if Splatoon 3 or 2 ever happens so I don't know if they're fan made or if they're actually real by Nintendo it would be nice if Nintendo like cleared up this because there's like two of them there's two more so it's like very interesting that they have their own storyline, their own descriptions and all that. And it looks like the art style of the, of the game too, but they haven't been really announced or said anything in the game. So I might just have to check to other sources to see if they're like actually fan made or real. So in the definition of the Octarian region, Autolink said to outskirt their own own paradise of peace without the shackles of authorities rules octarian technology was able to flourish into the neo patropolis dub octop octopa to so solidify a welcoming tourist spot splatfish stadium were built to with the help of hive mine jellyfish and the city capital of octopi tower a a radio ma a radio mass powered by the great zapco Zapco Fish, where the Octopi News is filmed and broadcast from. When the cities officially started looking for young talents to be the first Octopi's first I idols and anchors the new station, Reyna, and Reyna was the top candidate. When they reached Altair, she refused to sign any contract unless her friend Boa could be her co-star. Boa and Reyna had been collaborating on music for several years at this point. Reyna gave them an ultimatum, signed both of them to the contract or neither. Ooh. Oh, so this, I actually like this one. This one's different, but instead she was like the top pick, but she wouldn't go or do anything if her friend would come in. And they collaborated for like seven years. That's some good friendship right there too. Personality, Boa. Boa was raised downtown in a bustling metropolis while quite extroverted and claustrophobic pol 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 pollution gave her discomfort towards the crowd. Oh, population. Why is it pollution? Population towards the crowd. Even the everyday foot traffic and the white noises outside her window was unnerving. Rather than facing her herd of buzz busy and pretty strange, she chose to seclude herself in a room where she showed passion for music through her computer, synchronizing through her instrument of choice. After getting started at a chimp, a free chips tune software. Her biggest inspiration was Chipper Chips and Abby X and Deadfish, whose posters are hung on her wall. Despite her distress with the large group of people, she maintains a pers uh, a passionate and bubbly ad personality. However, this anxiety is the reason Octoprism has yet to perform for an for an audience, preferring to stay on the video route and to connect Octopi through the digital means while in front of the camera, she is still not entirely sure what to do. Reyna has told her just be yourself and be flasher, resulting her in the awkward st stander pose as she assumes while the Octopi news. Reyna doesn't have the heart to tell her it looks strange. Boa is the most common composed while sitting in her bedroom composing music at a younger age. All she can have was her tech her laptop and chip tune freeze where, freeware but since joining auto prism she has the budget of four professional equipment reyna reyna was born in a small tropical village where octarians interferes a long since past she was a child prodigy but in dancing and singing classes at a very young age noticing her talent her parents were determined to get her into the spotlight both helped her grow as a performer but also Hope that her fame will help her out of their meager lifestyle. Meager lifestyle. She spent most of her life on the camera, being recorded in the local Taiwan show and eventually televisionized at a large audience. Being performer for her entire life, Reina excluded confidence and she remained 
outwardly humble but secretly relished in the attention while seeking speaking to people with calm and kind demeanor she felt nothing more than indifferent to most she didn't care much for people but instead to pray they praised their lavish with her while searching for her name in octonet the veins obtained to her um, validation she found a message board where someone created a chip tune cover of one of the songs she has sung on the popular talent show impressed by the level of skill she developed more of this person's profile and found it in it was Bo. After contacting her and messaging her back and forth, they formed a friendship. It wasn't until meeting Bo that she felt a true connection with another person. While she was still growing ribs on Bo and teases her frequently, growing her friendly rivalry with each each new episode, even to the point of splattering her. Deep down, Reyna would turn that splattering anyone who tried to truly harm Bo. That's such a cute story, really. Oh, I would love to see that in the Splatoon series. This is if it is me. If this is like fan made, this is like a really great de detail as much as um Squid Sisters and Off the Hook is too. It's just really good. So Splatfest. Uh, this is art by. And apparently, it's, um, this is the art by G Sun Foxes, and apparently this was like fan made so they had to do all this which is pretty cool and here's all their artwork and it's really 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 pretty i really liked it and it looks so real too so i'm just gonna take it forward it feels like fan made but if nintendo decided to make this a reality i would be so happy if they did that because this is like the story is really good, the outfit design is really good, and them having like an octoling instead of like they had two inklings, one octoling and one inkling, why not decide doing two octolings for like, since they wanted to do like a first octoling group. I think that would be a good idea if they wanted to like contact the person doing that and like make it into like a reality of someone voicing these two since I should have known this was probably fan made because they didn't see like the voice actors. We all, well, we have their age, we have their height, but there's no voice actors, so it's not officially Nintendo's. But I would love to see this like on lights and like in the game. That would be so amazing. I would love to see that. The story is like it's like really good. So give the person who made this and the artist some love because this is amazing so hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe videos to these and i'll see you guys next video by the roses oh i was definitely wrong so they do have music too and it's on spotify so you guys still could listen to it if you sign up on spotify because i want to listen to it i'm pretty sure it's gonna be very good so I'm gonna have high hopes for it. So I forgot the trivia. So their trivia name Raya and Boa is a portunity for Rainbow, alluding to their design. These ties into the duo named Octoprism, a shining life through a prism, produce a rainbow in the Philippines. Reina means queen. Their Japanese names are Moji and Niji, taken straight from their species Japanese name. The names right here. The Chinese names Bo and Hong, which means wave and rainbow. Bo's birthday is 6 12, the 12th of June, Gemini. Rana's birthday, 8 21, 21st of August, Leo. Both dates land on Feb February, Friday, 2020, two, 12 days and 21 reflect each other. Both Dumbo and the Rainbow Blanket octopods are deep sea coll collateral pods. Poe is secretly loves vocal aid. Blanket octopods are known for detach their cape and distraction when escaping from enemies. If Reyna gets too scared, the back of her hair might sometimes fall off through it regrows in three days. Dang. That's interesting. The most famous known is site of the rainbow's blanket. Octopus was found in the Philippines, inspiring Rena's tropical hair. Rena is also Philippines for queen. Rena has been known to swear without thinking. So, main boa means a brush, while Rena means splatting. Boa. 
doesn't like getting up close to people but she does have a bad aim swatting are too heavy for her bow as often means the octobrush novia since the octobrush has my head long range uses tech ten um, Tenta missiles and bacon all very distant tools. Rena uses spotting not because she is shy, but she as a child would often deal with crowds of interviewers swarming at her. She always wishes she can pull out the spotting and mow them down with her mane and hydro. That's so funny. <laughs> that would get a lot of coverage if she actually did that. That would be so funny. Reyna loves to wear beautiful dresses, but Boa prefers to wear casual clothing. She only wears the elaborate costumes as part of her con contract with Octo News. Boa's stage shirt's design is flounced off shoulder and fitted top. And that's it. And they also have music, so you guys should check that out too if you wanted to. So these groups are like very popular. I didn't know about them until now, and I'm pretty sure there's like more fan made of them so hope you guys enjoy the video like comment subscribe visit these and we'll see you guys next video bye roses